Welcome to Johnny on Energy. What we're going to be talking about today is filters for your heating and air conditioning system. Now if you have the type of single filter that goes right by the furnace in a large unit, we're not going to talk about that today. That'll be in another video. What we're talking about here are the filters that are at the individual cold air returns around your house. So if you have that type of heating system where you have a filter actually at each individual cold air return, that's what we're going to be taking a look at. So above my head is a hallway cold air return. That's one of 11 that are actually in this house. So that's something important to keep in mind. When you change these out, you're going to be changing a lot of them out and you're going to be wanting to do this about every 30 days. Filters come in different styles and different sizes. These are 14 by 14s. This is a 12 by 24 that fits in the unit that's sitting above my head. And you can notice there are different types of materials. This is a traditional fiberglass filter. These have been around forever. They work well. And, but what's more, what's come out more recently, and not you know, super recently, but these ones that take more dust out of the air. So the trade-offs we're really looking at here are two, cost and dust particles out of the air. And then on the negative side, the more dust particles and the tighter the weave and of the material itself, the less air that goes through it. So the, the harder the furnace's circulation system has to work to pull the air through this. And then that's why you want to change them on a regular basis, typically 30 days, because once they get a lot of dust on them, then you're pulling air through a dust coating in addition to the material itself. So this one's about a dollar fifty. This one that's more pleated with more material I'm holding in my hands is about $4.50, so three times more expensive. But it doesn't end there. You can keep going up and 3M makes some products where these will run you about $10 a piece. If you have allergens in your home, people have a high sensitivity to dust, they really help you get a lot more dust out of the air. So it's a trade-off. One's gonna make the furnace work harder, cost you a little more energy, but it's gonna take more dust particles out of the air. It's going to be more expensive. So when you're changing 11 of them, you could think about one that costs $1.50 and thinking about $16 to change them all, so about $16 a month. Flip that up to make those about $10 a piece and it's $110 a month, it starts to become you know, pretty cost prohibitive to be doing that every month. So what ends up happening is when you get the more expensive ones, folks tend to let them go a lot longer. Maybe I won't change it for 90 days. And the packaging talks about the ability to use them for 60 to 90, but keep in mind, they're pulling the same amount of dust and dirt and air through them onto the surface. So just because it takes more of it out of the air, doesn't mean it's gonna last any longer. So you really wanna think about that whole trade-off. The other thing that's really gonna limit you, to be honest with you, is you're not gonna find them all in all your shapes and sizes that you might need for your home. You can go to an HVAC specialist, and a lot of times they'll have these. This is typically what they're putting in as the fiberglass. You can go to your home centers and they'll have a lot of these, but like we said, they're gonna be really expensive. So in my own home, I have a mix of the two of them because I can't get all the shapes and sizes I need in one style. So let's go ahead, we'll pop the one up in here. It's really easy to do. The only important thing you're really looking for is there's an arrow that points on the side of these to tell you the airflow direction. And basically you wanna make that arrow point in because the airflow, that's sucking the air in, that's your return back to the furnace. That's not where it's being pushed out. That's coming out of your floor registers and wall registers and so forth. These are sucking the air in, so you make the arrow flow go inward. All right, this is, Really easy stuff to do. Hopefully you've done a lot of it. If you haven't, every 30 days, get your sizes and uh, maybe 30 to 45, get your sizes and uh, get these things installed. So pretty simply on this one, there's two clips on the bottom. Sometimes they're plastic clips and they slide like this. These are little levers that pull out. If there's only two and you see there's none on the top, this guy's sitting on a little hinge in there. You can unhook this whole thing and wash it in the sink because sometimes they get dirty. So there's our old filter. We're gonna pull that out of here. And let me show you this from 30 days out. I don't know how well the camera's gonna show it, but it's definitely a lot grayer and darker and it's got a coating of dust on the surface of it. So again, grayer, darker on this one, coating, on the, you know, here's your nice clean one going in. We're gonna look at that arrow of the airflow pointing inward, which you got the side with the steel on it and the side without. So it's easy enough for us to go in here Put that the direction of the arrow pointing inward. We just push this guy back in place in there. Make sure he's got a nice tight fit up there. So we're not going up, you know, if not too much is escaping around the corners. Bring him back in. And get our little clips tightened back into place. 
we're all set. We got a clean filter for another 30 days. We'll mark that on the calendar. And I typically buy a lot of these and have them sitting around in a uh, closet or whatever because you can buy them in volume and get them cheaper. And uh, that's it. But it does save, it lengthens the life of your furnace and your air conditioning system. It makes the air flow easier, which is gonna make it feel warmer or cooler, depending on if you're heating or cooling. And it's gonna save you money because the furnace isn't gonna to have to work as hard to produce the heat or the air conditioner to produce the air if that air is flowing well through the home. So thank you for visiting Johnny on Energy. We hope you come back and see us again. Thanks.